Randy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to hardwire accessories in your vehicle or fans going through a toggle switch. So let's go ahead and get started. The items that you're going to need to complete this is what I have laid out here. For starters, you're going to need to get a pack of standard automotive blade fuses. This particular pack here I picked up at Harbor Freight. I'll put the amount across the bottom. This has all the different uh, amps ranging from 5 to 30 amps. It's a good assortment. They come in handy. Next, you're going to need some wire strippers. We'll need those to strip the wires to make the connections. Then you'll need some 16 gauge wire. You can get spools of these at Walmart or anywhere else fairly inexpensive. You have the black for the ground and then of course you have your, your 12, uh, 12 volt power which is red. So you'll need that. Then you'll need just a standard two prong uh, toggle switch. You could also do a three prong but for this particular video I'm just using just a standard two prong for just on and off. And then you'll need the male and female um, electric connectors that we're going to use as well. So with all that in place, let's head into the vehicle and get started. For this particular video, what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually hardwiring up the radiator fans to this vehicle so that way I have full control to turn them off or on from inside. So I'll be connecting those to this toggle switch, mounting it here on the dash with the switch. But this method can actually be used for any kind of accessories as well, whether you have um, interior accent lighting, Here's an illuminated toggle switch that I had wired up about a year ago for some accent lighting. So when you push that in, accent lighting all comes on, and then it also lights up knowing, letting you know that it's on. Also has a remote control where you can control the different colors of the lights, but that's one option here that you can do with putting it on a center console. Or any other power supply that you want to have the control to turn off or on without having the actual power input going into your power supply or your cigarette lighter and having all that bulky wire connectors hanging out. You can conceal it all behind the dash, make it look very clean and professional. So with that in place, let's go underneath here. I'll start stripping the wires and then we'll put the inline fuse in and I'll show you all that, how that goes together so we can get it fired up. If the accessory that you're wanting to connect to the toggle switch came with one of these standard 12 volt plugs for a vehicle, what you're going to have to do is cut off this head, so you would cut it right here at the base, take some wire cutters, cut that off, separate these wires, strip the ends, and then identify which one is your ground, which one is your positive, and that's where we're going to be continuing now on the video. Coming under the dash, I went ahead and pulled these wires down, but you're going to need to identify your 12-volt power source coming from the battery and then your ground which should be connected to the main ground of the vehicle. So in this case here, I have other accessories under here. So what I have is I have a main line going to the battery, bringing it in to a hub that I can then connect into so I'm not running all these individual wires back to the battery and, and making a big mess. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into this wire and into this one. We're going to go ahead and put a multimeter on it, test it, make sure that it is in fact bringing in the full 12 volts that we need. And then we should be able to tie into here with the fuse connecting to the switch. Once that's all done, all these wires will then be put up underneath the dash. It'll all be clean, but I pulled these down for this video to show. All right, so we have there the ground. I went ahead and spliced that wire so we could put a male connector on it. I have the multimeter ground connected to it there. And then right here, I have the 12 volt power. So let's go ahead and check the multimeter, make sure that that is active 12 volts so we can connect into it. And you can see there we're just under 12, so that is the active. So let's go ahead and uh, wire up to that now. Let's go ahead and strip this end of the ground wire so we can then put a connector on it so we can ground our, uh, our fans or if you're using an accessory, ground that. Go ahead and just Okay, so we have that nice and grounded. Go ahead and twist that so we can put it inside of one of the connectors. Since the existing ground has a male uh, plug on it, we're going to go ahead and put a female on this one. So now that we have it all stripped and twisted down, we can go ahead and just insert that. Then take your crimping tool, go ahead and just squeeze that down. It's nice and solid, ready to be connected. We're getting ready to uh, connect the toggle switch up to the accessory. So basically with a two-prong uh, toggle switch like we have here, you're going to have the ground is going directly to the ground wire. So coming into the switch, you're going to have the 12 volt power in, and then you're going to have 12 volt power going out to the accessory to power that, going through an inline fuse. 
The device should come with the specific uh, amp of the fuse that's needed for that device. If not, I usually like to default to 15 to 20 amps depending on the, the uh, device that's being powered. In this case, we're doing the um, radiator fan, so I'm going to use a 20 amp. But if you don't know, I would say probably shoot for a 10 or 15, just play it safe. So let's go ahead and wire that up, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. This is the... 12 volt wire that we're going to use basically going from the toggle switch to the fans or to whatever accessory you're powering. We're going to go ahead and cut it in the middle. Cut it approximately right here in the middle. That's where we're going to put the inline fuse. Now to put that in, you can buy harnesses at, um, at the store. What I use is I just take two female uh, cable connectors and that's enough right there for the fuse to go ahead and clip in right there and you kind of make your own and then we'll feed the wire in here so then what you have is when you turn on the toggle switch and you're sending the 12 volts of power to the device if for whatever reason there's an issue the 12 volts passing through that fuse it'll blow the fuse therefore saving whatever accessory or device you're powering so I'm gonna go ahead now strip the wires connect it to this and then we'll be right back Okay, these have been completed. Went ahead and put the female connectors on. Strip these two ends here. So now what we can do is we can take the fuse, go ahead and wire it up. So now that's connected. So now what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and put another female connector on this end. That'll then slide over one of these pins here. That'll connect that that way. Then this end here will connect to the actual uh, the input of the 12 volts going into the accessory or the device that you're powering. And then we'll come in now and do the straight 12 volts into the other pin. So now we have the 12 volt current coming in. So when this is turned off or on, we're then either turning on the current coming in or cutting it off. It'll pass through the fuse as a safety valve before it hits the device. We'll power up that, connect the ground, make sure it works, mount it to the dash, and that'll wrap this up. All right, just to show you what I did, um, here's the ground to the device, is grounded to the main ground of the vehicle coming in here. Then here on the switch, we have the off, which is your 12 volt power in. Then on the on, we have your 12 volt power out, which is going through the fuse and then out to the device. So that's pretty much how your wiring should be set up. So you definitely do not want to put the ground in the switch or you're going to cause a fire. So you have your power coming in and going out of the switch and then your ground is connected to the ground of the vehicle. All right, final connection's been made. Let's go ahead and try it out. Everything's good. Engine fans are coming on nice and strong. Fuse is good, not overheating. On and off works good. I'm going to go ahead and attach it and uh, go ahead and mount it in. And uh, this is pretty much done. That wraps it up. Well, this pretty much wraps up this video on how to hardwire an accessory through a toggle switch in your vehicle with an inline fuse. Um, at this point, depending on what you're mounting, you could either mount the switch into the dash, center console, uh, push button, however, however you're going to do it. But it's pretty much the same process as far as the wiring goes. Then it's up to you on how you want to be able to access it or, or switch it off or on. So I'm not going to cover that in this video because there's so many different ways to do that. So that pretty much wraps it up. Please send any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you, any feedback. As always, I appreciate all of the support out there. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.